Hey guys, how's it going? This is Alberto again with A to Z Tactical Academy and today I want to show you some tips and tricks to get your feed ramp polished. Okay, so why would you need to polish the feed ramp, right? Sometimes what happens is you buy a new gun and you put full metal jacket rounds in it when you go test it and it functions perfectly and then you put in something like hollow points or watt cutters or some other stuff and then you start experiencing um, failure to feed right they, the rounds get stuck on the ramp or they just don't properly feed into into the chamber right so what happens is there may be minute grooves left over from the machining process off the barrel and polishing it is an easy way to kind of get rid of them right what we want to avoid though is using abrasives um, so harsh that you'll remove metal and change dimensions on components of the gun so all we want to do is give it more of a mirror polish if you will so i have two barrels here one of them belongs to a brand new gun and it clearly has um, some markings uh, from manufacturing and i think there's some markings actually from the tip of a uh, full metal jacket round impacting the feed ramp when it was test fire at the factory before shipping. So here's a brand new barrel. Um, hopefully you can see here, there are some brass marks in there. Um, that's from testing um, when it was put together. But I can also see kind of rings around the, uh, the feed ramp. Right, you can kind of see how those are marks left by the reamers and the tooling uh, necessary to machine a barrel. And what happens is at a microscopic level, if you really zoom into these, they are like little grooves, if you will, that will cause jams every once in a while. So yeah, the, the feed ramp will also have those. This one's already been polished. Um, so you can see clearly those are gone. What we want to do is polish them, right? Just make it mirror finish so it's as slick as it possibly can be so rounds just go in and out. Okay, so here's what I typically use, a Dremel type tool. Um, I don't use Dremel, I use a Black & Decker. Uh, and what you want to avoid is using the very abrasive wheels, if you will. So what I use is felt polishing wheels, like this one here is just a felt polishing wheel. Um, of various sizes. I bought a kit that had all kinds of different sizes of it and thicknesses. Here's um, here's another one. A little smaller here, but I basically put these in the stems and use that to polish. My kit actually came with these felt Q-tip like, if you will. They're, they are felt, so it's not an abrasive at all, but it does have kind of the shape of a bullet, right? So what I do is I put it on that tool and just kind of gently go up and down like this and, and into the chamber, if you will, so you could polish this part. I, I would also go like this. So I polish the upper side of the chamber and just kind of maneuver these very handy felt polishers uh, like if it was a round. So that preserves the shape and dimensions of the ramp and the chamber, but it does give it a mirror polish and it solves the issue. I hope these tips are good for you and it helps you. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Until next time.